Hi, this is Craig Stocks here at Utah Desert Remote Observatories. You can find us online at utahdesertremote.com. And you can see some activity behind me. We're doing an installation today. We have uh, Matt Dietrich here doing an install on a plane wave L500 mount with a uh, CDK 17 inch. So that should be interesting to see how it all goes. Okay. Is that hole marked? Yeah, it's pretty good. There it is. I mean, I'm just gently like that. Let it down, Tim? Nope. So, Tim, you press in like that. Just right there. Just right there. Just stand like that. We're here now with Matt Dietrich of Sea West Observatories and Tim, who is the uh, proud owner of this new plane wave, CDK-17. Um, Matt, why don't I let you and Tim tell us a little bit about the installation here. Sounds good. Well, this probably isn't what you expected to see right now, but in the uh, interest of full disclosure, we did record a segment of Matt and Tim talking about the telescope standing next to the telescope. And unfortunately, that did not record due to either technical difficulties or possibly user error. I'm not sure which it was. But at any rate, we now have uh, both Tim and Matt on Zoom to uh, do a reenactment of the explanation of the installation and the telescope. So, Matt, you want to kick it off? Yeah. Yeah, we had a 
first time experience, you know, visiting uh, Utah desert remote observatories. I got to say that slowly because I'm, I'm new to the site, but uh, I've seen obviously the work that Craig and his family and the crew have done uh, across the internet. And it was obviously exciting to finally get to the observatory to see the facility and to see what they've built because building remote observatories, it, it may seem easy. Uh, the way that the support staff has obviously assembled all the domes in the, uh, the infrastructure makes the user experience a lot easier to kind of see uh, simplicity in the design. But that's what you want uh, out of an observatory is reliability, uh, a great user experience in terms of the support side of the on-site crew because things go wrong with remote telescopes. We know that happens, but the goal uh, for installing TIMS system was uh, making sure the CDK-17 telescope and L500 mount are set up to run as reliably as possible in a remote setup. And Tim did a great job of the initial uh, system design, and that's really where uh, the the setup can run smoothly and efficiently through a proper power cycling of devices and we kind of just collaborated to make sure that we had all the the most advanced technology to ensure smooth uh, installation smooth future uh, setup for astrophotography but um, all in all just the the good dark skies got to see the zodiacal light during the installation uh, the experience of, of being in Cedar City and driving out to the site, you know that uh, you're going into a great remote observatory site when you have to drive a couple hours outside of uh, a big city. So in, in short, it was an enjoyable experience working with Tim and Craig and, of course, his whole his whole crew, the family there. And we're excited to work further on getting the, the system dialed in for astrophotography and uh, continue on with uh, imaging under clear skies. My name is Tim Regeer, and I had the pleasure of installing the Planewave CDK-17 system uh, that you just saw. Um, I have been a space geek all my life. Um, I grew up in the Apollo age, and uh, I've always wanted to own a telescope. And when I was young, I, I dreamed of, of buying one, and when I was older, I started looking at them, and I was looking at eight inch Schmidt Cassegrain telescopes and I dreamed of maybe one day actually getting a 12 inch telescope. So this install literally is the culmination of, of my life's dream and, it, and it's actually beyond my wildest imagination because I managed to step up to the quality optics of the, of the 17 inch plane wave. Um, I know as uh, a previous owner of that eight inch that two of the things you really want are quality optics and an even better stable mount to put them on. And uh, that's why I selected Plane Wave. I feel they provide both of those uh, in abundance. And um, while looking at gear, I happened upon uh, Matt Dietrich, um, on YouTube, he's documented a lot of his installs. He's an ex plane wave employee, and um, I decided to hire him to help me do the install. Um, he, he he does installs uh, on weekends and in his spare time, um, and you can find him at mattdietrichphotography.com. Uh, he did a wonderful install. He paid a lot of attention to detail. He does uh, fine hand tuning of the motors. So you really get uh, a quality install. And I was very impressed with the work he did. Um, I managed to find the plane wave equipment through uh, a local shop, cloudbreakoptics.com, and uh, was very pleased with the service and, and the support they provided. And then lastly, when you buy a telescope of this caliber, you're obviously going to put this in an observatory. And living in a big city, uh, I started looking for a remote observatory in a dark uh, location that had good clear skies and relatively stable uh, atmosphere 
atmospheric conditions scene. And I happened on, again, just happenstance, um, I saw a video on YouTube about Utah Desert Remote Observatories. And I checked the site out. Um, I visited and installed the portable telescope. And I was really impressed with the service they provided. Uh, in fact, one of Craig's uh, business principles is to distinguish himself from his competitors by the level of customer support that he provides. And uh, I've got to say in the three months that I've had the portable system installed before installing this uh, plane wave system, that he's lived up to that principle and and more. Um, he has a family run business. Um, there's family members living on site that provide uh, full time customer support. And the responsiveness is excellent. Whenever you have a, a problem, I've found that um, the someone is always there looking at the tickets uh, you put in for technical support and uh, the response time has been phenomenal and the results uh, have been uh, beyond my expectations. So uh, I've got to say, I, I really enjoy working with small businesses. Uh, I, I think they believe more in what they do. Um, and I've been very happy with Utah Desert Remote Observatories. Uh, if you're interested in an observatory for yourself, you should check them out at utahdesertobservatories.com. Tim, you might want to talk. Thank you, by the way, for the uh, kind words. Uh, you might want to talk a little bit. You've got something unusual in your imaging train. Uh, yes. Um, along the way, I happened on uh, innovationsforesight.com and uh, Gaston Baudet uh, builds a guider that's a little different from the typical guider. Uh, most people use off-axis guiders where they take a small rectangle of of the image right at the edge of the imaging circle that's picked off by a little prism and they pick one or two guide stars hopefully uh, that they can find in that area and uh, I think a better solution is the new technology that Gaston is providing at Innovations Foresight. On-axis guiders uh, literally guide using the image on the the imaging axis. So you're, you're looking at a full um, frame, so to speak. The guider will take uh, up to a APS-C sized chip and it uses the entire frame of that chip on the imaging axis uh, to look at um, the the, the portion of that image that the APS-C chip covers. And so you can use a full field to guide with and all the stars in that field. Um, and the software he's developed for that also allows you to uh, focus, do an autofocus real time while you're imaging. You know, the system uses a beam splitter in the on-axis guider and the light comes uh, to the beam splitter from the telescope, the infrared light above 760, 770 nanometers is passed through the beam through the beam splitter and goes into your guiding camera, which is located at the back of your optical stack where your imaging camera usually is. And then the Visible light is reflected by the beam splitter and goes up out the top of the on-axis guider into your filter wheel and imaging camera. I think it's a great solution. Um, it allows you to do full field guiding on multiple stars at the same time. And it also allows you to do real-time focusing without stopping your uh, imaging session. So 
very interested to try out that uh, hardware and the software that goes with it. Yeah, that's really an exciting innovation, and I'm uh, I'm anxious to see the kind of images that you're able to get off that system. It really looks outstanding. I am too. <laughs> So still a little bit of work going on behind me as Matt Dietrich and uh, Tim, the owner, finish up the installation of Tim's new CDK-17 from Plane Wave and the L500 mount. I know Tim is really anxious to start collecting some data out here. Uh, we had a chance to talk to him, get a little bit of insight about the installation and what Tim's looking for in, uh, in his imaging. So I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, be sure to drop some comments into the uh, section down below and I'll try to answer any questions that come up and for now I hope you have a great day today and an even better night tonight under a clear dark sky. Thanks.